In today's tutorial, we're going to be talking about a static version of your WordPress site. Now, not all sites are going to, not all WordPress sites are going to need a static version, uh, but you may have some old sites that you kind of still want to keep up. You may have some sites that get very little traffic. You may have sites that are just not dynamic in any way, shape, or form. And for exactly this purpose, um, we can and should probably turn your WordPress site into a static version. Now, as I was working on some tutorials for Scanfully, I realized um, this is a great opportunity to show you how that's done. Uh, particularly, I'm going to be using um, a tool called Cloudflare Pages. I'm going to be using a plugin called Simply Static. And I happen to have an existing WordPress site that I'm uh, no longer, well, nobody's contributing to it anymore. Um, the site's over, um, oh, I don't know, uh, 12 years old and no longer in use. So it's a great candidate to be turning into a static version. So um, let's dive in, shall we? Because it's no longer in use, I decided to use WP Realm. It's a site that we started with a bunch of friends in 2012. It was um, sort of the birthplace for uh, WordCamp Europe. And um, it's uh, again, it's no longer in use. So um, now is as good a time as any to start turning this into a uh, static version. The first thing that I think is important to mention here is that there's, uh, if you look in the site, there's a lot of stuff that maybe we're not really needing anymore. As you can tell, I'm using Gravity Forms on this site and a static version of this site uh, doesn't need a form. In fact, this site hasn't needed a form in a, a very long time. So uh, as you can also see, there's not a lot of traffic here. So uh, it makes sense to turn this into a static version. So before you actually start the process of turning the entire site into a uh, static version, now is a good time to look at stuff that you may want to get rid of. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into pages and find the contact page, which is something we are no longer needing. Um, doing this is essentially the, the first step. Um, don't need it. Doesn't really matter what Yoast SEO asks here as well as we're turning into a, a still version anyway. Um, the next step is I may want to look at what kind of menus do I have? What kind of stuff do I have in the sidebar? So newsletter is no longer active. Um, this is a good example of something that we can get rid of. So I go into widgets, I check the primary sidebar, and this particular one can be deleted. So now that one's gone. I seriously have very little left in this particular site that I need to be saving. Just going through the options I have here. And uh, I think I'm done. So let me double check on the front end one more time. Is there stuff that I think I no longer need? So what's in the menu? What do I see? Okay, there's nothing here. So that means I can cut down on the menu as well. Doesn't make any sense to keep those. So going in the menu and looking at the main menu and oh, indeed there is a invalid one. Reviews, not really active here anymore either, nor is this one. So this really is turning it back into a very simple, simple version of uh, the site and for good purpose because it's not meant to be dynamic in any way, shape, or form. So the reason I'm getting rid of the contact form is that contact forms do not work in static sites. Well, they can, they kind of can be made to work in such a fashion, but, the, but by default, they're not. So I am left with essentially three menu items uh, and a list of articles. And that's fine for me. So the only thing now that I need to do is to turn this site into an actual static version. So I am using this particular plugin uh, by uh, uh, Patrick Posner. Um, it's a plugin that turns your site into a very simple and straightforward version, but then fully static. 
not very complicated. I'm sure you've installed a plugin before, but it's essentially nothing more than uh, finding your menu for your plugins and then uh, simply static. Um, since I have already installed it and it's active, uh, you'll see it right here. So go find this one, turn it on, activate it, and you're then presented with the next option here. And you can see I've already uh, tested here one. Uh, and I'm going to essentially do this again. So there's a lot of things that you can turn on here. Uh, most of it, you don't really need to do anything. Uh, I would double check if the uh, replacing URLs is still using the relative paths. Um, you'll want to read this. Um, absolute relative and URLs constructed for offline use. So um, relative is uh, convert all URLs for your WordPress site to relative URLs that will work at any domain. Um, that's essentially what we're doing. We're doing the same URL uh, for the site. Um, I don't need four or four pages saving my settings. And it's as simple as uh, clicking this generating and then um, that will turn this site into a static version. So what it's doing in the background, it is uh, looking at your entire site. It's turning it into a static version of your site. And while it's doing this, uh, you just have to wait for its process to finish. Uh, but by the end, you'll have a zip file. And that zip file is something we'll be adding to our Cloudflare pages. So um, waiting for this to end. A few moments later. As you can see, the generating of the file is finally done. And it provides us with a perfect uh, click here to download, uh, which we'll do. And this will um, download the entire zip file that is the static version of your WordPress site. It will download that to your local machine. Now, the next step is that we're going to have to go to Cloudflare Pages uh, and upload this particular um, zip, have it do its magic. So um, onto Cloudflare it is. So we have our zip on our file system. We have uh, logged into our Cloudflare dashboard. Inside our Cloudflare dashboard, and this, this is uh, at the level of your account, so not necessarily a domain just yet. So at the level of the account, we have a menu called Workers and Pages. Now, Workers and Pages, when I click on it, provides us the overview of the workers and pages that you have in your account. Um, what we're going to do is add a application. So Cloudflare calls a static version of your site would be called a application. It can also be a worker, but in this particular case, we're focusing on application. So application, create an application, uh, brings the next field, which of course you want to click on the pages tab because this is what we're focusing on for today's video. Now, Cloudflare allows you to connect a Cloudflare pages uh, site in two different ways. One of them is uh, creating, uh, well, using an existing Git repository. So in some cases, you want to um, not do this uh, one-time conversion, which, which is what we're doing today. Uh, but maybe you'll have something local, which you'll add something to, and you want to sync to your Git repository. And then Cloudflare can be in sync with that repository, and then uh, publish a new version of uh, your site in Cloudflare pages when you have done a push to the main branch of your uh, Git repository. But that's not what we're doing today. So we're creating uh, using a direct upload. Remember, we have the zip file. So what I'm going to do is uh, upload assets. And before I have do that, I have to name the project. And in this case, it's I'm just going to name it what it is called as a site. It will be deployed to wprealm.pages.dev, but that's obviously not the live version of the site that we'll use. Um, I will I will upload a zip. This is the one that has been generated today and downloaded. As you can see, it's uh, processing the files straight away. Uh, it's preparing the upload, and 
As it's doing this, it is essentially copying the entire static version of your WordPress site to the Cloudflare cloud. Now, we'll wait for this process to finish. As you can see, all files were successfully uploaded. So that means we have transferred our zip to the Cloudflare servers. Now, the next step we're going to do is deploy this site. And um, I, I should say, uh, I should add one particular thing. Now, I went in, into my Cloudflare account, um, but it should be stated that the site itself was already present in my Cloudflare account as a, as a domain. So um, the next step is going to be deploy site. Um, what that does, it turns it into whatever it had uploaded into the, its final place. So that is the site location. If I click on it, I will see an example, but I'm just going to skip that and just continue to the project. Because what I want to do is connect this particular site on cloudflarepages.dev. I want to connect that with the actual domain. So uh, in this particular case, that's called a custom domain. And I'm going to set up a custom domain. And in this case, that is straightforward because this is what it's called. I'm going to enter this. And it's going to say, oh, look, I can see what it's already in your account. Uh, so it's going to skip the part where it says, uh, please uh, enter the domain that is uh, located in your Cloudflare account. Um, but it's also going to say, uh, hey, I found it. And not only that, it's going to ask you to confirm new DNS records. So that means adding these two existing records, so adding the, the, the existing record, um, changing it, and then adding the new record to... Uh, reflect the location at the Cloudflare pages. So I'm going to say activate domain. And once it's done that, that is essentially all there is to it. So it is being set up. It may take up to uh, two days before the DNS records uh, are updated and finished and complete. But this is essentially all there is to it. So I'm going to double check to see what it says here. Am I seeing the same thing? Yes, I am. Um, because that's been automatically, it's being rechecked. Uh, but this is essentially uh, just me waiting for it uh, to be propagated inside of Cloudflare's DNS system. A few moments later. And there you have it. The indication is no longer pending. It is active. And that means we can check our site, see if it... Uh, if it actually is presenting in the right way. So when I refresh the screen, uh, what should be obvious is that the um, the admin bar at top should disappear uh, because there's no, I, I literally cannot log in anymore. It is a static version of just the front end. So when I refresh, you will see there is nothing there, but there is exactly what was there before we started this process. And that is it. We have a static version of our site. And everything works the way you expect it to. It's all here. It's just no longer WordPress. So there you have it. That is the full tutorial of turning your WordPress site into a static version and host it on Cloudflare pages. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, do hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much. See you next time.